Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics, and today we're going to solve this really interesting equation, 5 to the x equal to x. How can we do this? First of all, let's take nature log on both sides. Let's do this. So right here, nature log of the left side, so 5 to the x, and of the right side, equal to nature log, nature log x. Right now, we're going to bring this x, so this x will come down right here because of the main log property. Yeah, if we have nature log a to the power b, it will be equal to b times nature log a. So this b will come down right here and the same logic right here. So this is really important, important log property. Right now, what do we have right here? x times nature log 5. So we have right here x times nature log 5 equal to nature log x. Okay, right now we have this expression. Uh, right now, let's try to group our constant on the left side and our variables on the right side. So let's do this right now. What do we have right here? Let's divide both sides by x. When we divide both sides by x, so we divide this right here and we divide this by, like that. Okay, so x will cancel, will be canceled with each other right here. And as a result, we have nature log 5 on the left side. So let's do this, let's write these things. So right here we have nature log 5 on the left side equal to nature log x over x. Right now, for, for like a better understanding, let's change position because everyone prefer our variables on the on the left side, not on the right side. So let's do this. It changed nothing for us, yeah? So we have right here nature log x over x equal to nature log 5. Right now, we need to understand about lambda w function. This is a really important function in terms of mass. And right now, let's look at this Let's look at this function right here. So a lot of students don't understand about this function. A lot of students don't know how can we evaluate the expression with this function. So I try to explain you this function in very simple words. For example, imagine we have expression like that a times e to the power a. When we apply this, uh, when we apply lambda w function to this expression, we have only our a on the right side. Okay. So we need to have like a and a, so the same expression, and we need to have e. When we have e and both expression right here in a power as a power of e, and right here as an um, expression that we multiply this e by each other, yeah. So we can easily write that this is equal to a. Right now, let's try to do the thing. Let's try to create this lambda w function right here on the on the left side. So let's do this. First of all. Let's write this, instead of this x, let's write e to the power nature log x. It changed nothing, but in the same way it helps us a lot. So we have nature log x all over e to the power nature log x, okay? It changed nothing. We can write this instead of x, we can write the thing. This is absolutely the same and equal to nature log 5. Right now, e to the power nature log x. Let's bring these uh, things from our denominator to our numerator, but we need to put minus, yeah? So as a result, what do we have right here? We have nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to nature log nature log 5 okay so we just bring in this expression from our denominator to our numerator right now if we look closely we have a really great expression because we have e and we have looks like the same expression so for example this is our a but this is not our a in terms of lambda w function as i told before we need to have like the same the same expressions on both sides right here same expression and right here same expression so for these let's multiply both sides by minus one okay what we will get right here minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus nature log 5 right now let's look closely okay minus nature log x for example this is our a and we have the same expression right here so this is the same minus nature log x and if you look back to this uh, look back to this lambda w function a e to the power a we have the same a e to the power a so we can easily apply lambda w function from this to this expression let's do this let's apply this so lambda w function of this expression minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus lambda w function of minus nature log 5. We need to apply this function on both sides, on the left side and on the right side. Right now, this is our a, this is our a, and as I told before, lambda w function from this expression only equal only to our a. So as a result, on the left side, we only have like minus nature log x, so minus nature log x, equal to lambda w function of minus nature log 5. Okay, really great. Right now, this is a constant, so we don't need like um, do all the thing with this uh, right hand side because this is a constant. And on the left side, we have minus nature log x, but let's find our x. We don't need like uh, this minus nature log x. So for this, let's multiply both side by minus one. When we multiply both side by minus one, we have only nature log x on the left side equal to minus lambda w function of 
minus nature log nature log 5 okay something like that right now let's take base of e on both sides so let's create base of e on both sides so this is looks like a power it will be like a power but when we create base of e so something like that when we write e right here with this base with this power nature log x and e on the right side with power minus lambda w function of minus nature log 5 it is really great thing right now because this expression on the left side gives us only x okay so right here we have only only our x and equal to e to the power minus lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 5 okay really great right now let's bring this uh, power so we have negative power if we bring this from our numerator to the numerator we have our um, we have our answer so x is equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 5 really great and really important moment right now because mm, this is our answer but a lot of like students who are interested in this challenge they check this um, uh, lambda w function on in their internet libraries so they check this uh, expression so lambda w function in intern on internet libraries so minus nature log 5 and this uh, expression does not exist so does not does not exist so it implies that this expression in terms of real numbers does not exist so it implied that this is a complex root. So this is a complex, a complex, complex root. This is not a real number root, this is a complex root. So this is a solution to this challenge. Basically, this is a solution to this challenge. But in terms of in terms of mass, this is not a real number root, this is a complex root. Okay, so this root does not exist in terms of in terms of uh, real number root. So we have complex complex root uh, right now I'm, go I'm going to show you the this plot right here so as you can see these lines does not intersect with each other which uh, which imply that right here we don't have like a uh, real number roots so we have only only complex only complex roots so this is my explanation to this challenge also don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of challenges on my youtube channel i have a lot of videos so i will be, will be really grateful if you subscribe if you leave a like it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot it may it helps me to make a new content every day i try to make all different questions every day i try to find really great questions from a different uh, textbook from a really different math books right here so it it is really great and also i hope you understand the explanation this is my main goal on my youtube channel i try to help everyone uh, i try to help everyone according to uh, math properties math rule math life math li different math things right here and in this uh, in this video this is really really great question for everyone because uh, this question include uh, lambert w function include uh, properties include e natural log so this is really great practice question so i hope you you understand this explanation definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of challenges also write your question down into the comment section write your thoughts write your question what do you want to see on my youtube channel what questions what like maybe higher mathematics maybe like a regular algebra maybe geometry maybe uh, interesting uh, different uh, like a brain test it will be really interesting to read about it so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos